A Church of England vicar has been banned from ministry for two years after being found guilty of spiritually abusing a teenage boy. The Rev Tim Davis, vicar of Christ Church Abingdon, in Oxfordshire, has been prohibited from the exercise of holy orders by a church tribunal panel that met on Saturday. If the clergyman wishes to return to ministry at the end of the ban he will need to undergo formal risk assessment, the Diocese of Oxford said. David was found guilty in January of conduct unbecoming or inappropriate to the office and work of a clerk in holy orders through the abuse of spiritual power and authority over a person then aged 15 to 16. In the first judgment of its kind, the CFE tribunal said the teenager, referred to as W1, was deprived of his freedom of choice as to whether to continue with mentoring sessions. Under the guise of his authority, Davis sought to control by the use of admonition, scripture, prayer and revealed prophecy the life of W1 and or his relationship with his girlfriend. Davis, who is in his 50s, moved into the family home and engaged W1 in prayer and Bible study for two-hour sessions in the boys' bedroom. The vicar also went on holiday with the family. W1 described being mentored by Davis as all-consuming but did not feel able to challenge the priest. He told the tribunal that Davis became angry if he did not ring him or respond to texts. W1's mother, who worked at the church, also felt unable to challenge Davis because he was her boss and had made it clear that God wanted his mentoring of W1 to continue. She told the tribunal she was scared of going against God. Davis told the panel that he was shocked and confused about the allegations and had no idea of the effect I was apparently having. He was suspended in July 2016. After passing judgment, the diocese said clergy were in a privileged position of trust, and spiritual abuse fell far short of the obligations and duties of those in holy orders. Clergy guidelines acknowledge the power that priests can have over others, and state such power must not be used to bully, manipulate or denigrate. Clergy should never seek to remove autonomy from a person, nor should power be exercised inappropriately, the guidelines say. In a statement issued on Sunday, the diocese said, the findings of the tribunal are instructive for anyone still doubting that spiritual abuse exists, and we commend the young man and his family for their courage and grace throughout this process.